I'm sorry if you're not interested in pregnancy because all my videos are gonna be about pregnancy or babies or baby stuff. I'm gonna try a bunch of stuff for you guys and I'm gonna try my best to share my honest experience. So if you are interested in pregnancy or baby stuff, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. One, two, three. Hi guys, this is Marianne and today I'm here to do a quick video. You know, it's not gonna be quick because it's me, it's my video, this is my channel and I'm very chatty. If you hear helicopter, there is one or two helicopter right now in the sky and it's here and it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna still do this video because when I have an idea, when I want to do a video, I am very spontaneous and I like to do it when I think about it because my thoughts, my opinion is fresh. So yeah, I like to do it right away. Anyway, I saw that a few days, a few weeks ago, um, Shan Booty, I think that's how you pronounce her name, correct me if I'm wrong, but Shan Booty um, announced that she was pregnant and she made a video about how did she get pregnant. And I thought that was amazing because I, myself, as a first time mom, I am always searching for more information, for more um, different people experience, you know, and stories. So I know that there's somebody like me uh, that would appreciate to know my story. So well, basically, I just wanted to share my experience and how did I got pregnant with my husband. I know that everyone is different and everyone is gonna be is gonna have a different opinion and experience and story. So this is my story. I'm not here to tell you what to do. This is what we did and it works for us. I'm so, so blessed that it was very easy for us. I know a lot of people are trying to have a baby, are trying to conceive and they have a lot of hard time these days. Um, I saw on a newspaper article that the average uh, period of time that you say, okay, let's try for a baby and then you, got, you get pregnant is actually six to eight months. So I was thinking, okay, six to eight months, right? And um, we started, I mean, we started to say, let's have a baby since even last year, but I don't know, I wasn't ready. Um, it was kind of like, I needed that, ti that time uh, for myself to think about it. And we talked a lot with my husband. And in January, um, actually, I think it's from, the day of my birthday, I think we did talk a lot about having a baby and trying, trying to get pregnant. And um, my husband did a lot of research because he really wants a boy. I know, it's just, I mean, for me, it doesn't really matter, but he really wants a boy. So uh, he did some research and he decided to take uh, uh, vitamins for I guess male vitamins um, for that and I did start to take prenatal I would say November of last year so about three to four months before getting pregnant I did look at my uh, ovulation period so basically personally I have very very on time period and my period are always six to seven days uh, they're quite long and my cycle is 28 days all the time since i quit the um, pills because 
I was taking the pill for the longest time. I was taking the pills from the day I moved to Korea. So I was 18 uh, until I would say 25. Then I stopped um, taking the, the pills because um, my period was were less um, hurting. And at that time I didn't have any, um, boyfriend or anything and I was not really planning on having one and um, yeah I just wanted to be a little bit more natural a little bit better for my uh, health uh, because I was thinking a lot of, of about that and so yeah it's it's been a it's been quite a while since I uh, quit the, the pill and my period is since very uh, on time, you know, always on time, 28 days, every 28 days, and it's usually six to seven days. But I also track it with an app since I think three to four years ago. And it gives you also the ovulation day. So basically it's, it's kind of like, it's not really accurate science but it does tell you like one or two days that you're supposed to ovulate so we went to france and we stayed uh, in paris for like a few days and it was in a beautiful hotel that was very very uh romantic i was supposed to ovulate at that time when we were at the very romantic hotel and uh, we said okay i'm ovulating we're here, this is magical, let's try. And so we did try. It was kind of like spontaneous, but a little bit planned. And um, we did have sex that day. And weirdly enough, I knew that I was pregnant the day of having unprotected sex with my husband. Yes, I knew already. I felt it in my belly, in my down area. I felt something weird. And um, yeah, I was uh, right because I was pregnant. And um, it, was, it was very easy. Like I'm amazed actually uh, because that, so that day we did have sex. And then uh, I think it was a week after I was supposed to have my period coming and it was on Friday I remember and Friday the period didn't didn't come Saturday didn't come and I remember that Sunday I was like anyway I know that I'm pregnant but I'm gonna take the test you know I knew that I was pregnant all the time and I was telling my husband since the day that we had sex in the beautiful romantic hotel in Paris until the day that I did the test, I was telling him, I'm pregnant, my boob, my left boob is hurting very, very bad and it's not normal. I know my symptoms when I have uh, pre-period pain, I know what it is and this is not it. I knew already, like I felt it in my belly, I felt it, my whole body was giving me signal. But I think it was like kind of shocking because it's my first time and I'm a first time pregnant mom to be and this is very weird and knowing that I'm growing a human being is kind of crazy, a lot scary to be honest and uh, very exciting. Uh, there's a lot of different emotion coming into me at that moment um, and I remember I was like looking at it and I'm like oh my god and I I screamed to my husband oh my god I'm so pregnant I'm so pregnant and so yeah he was uh he was very happy obviously he's not realizing it yet even though I'm in my second trimester and finally Finally, second trimester, I just have to say that. But anyway, this is how 
I got pregnant. Basically, I took some vitamins, which is very American to me because um, that's one thing that French people don't do. We don't do prenatal. It doesn't exist, you know? There's no such thing. But in America, we do. And I, I was like, why not trying, you know? There's no bad thing on trying that. So yeah, I did take some vitamin. My husband did also. And um, we just look roughly about um, the day of ovulation, roughly. And then magic happened, you know, magic happened. So I'm very blessed. And at that time I was like, oh no, it's already like, I thought it was six to eight months average what happened like just one time and that's it yes it's possible everyone is different right some people struggle and some people are very lucky and very blessed like me <laughs> so um i just want to say that if you are trying to conceive please do not um lose your faith in it i know personally a few friends of mine are trying to conceive and it's not happening for them and I felt very I felt very sad and, and very weird to announce to them that I was I got pregnant right away you know it's unfair it's unfair because those people sometimes they even want the baby so much more than somebody that get pregnant right away but it's life you know some people i don't know i cannot speak for people that struggle uh but i can tell you i do really believe that if you're struggling you have to keep faith in each other um before getting pregnant everything was going through my mind you know i was like how, like, what if, what if it's me? What if I cannot have a baby? You know, I was even thinking about that before, um, before even trying, you know, I was thinking about that. And I think that if you're in the same situation, if you think about having a baby, but you're like, never tried, I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it, I don't know if I can have a baby, you know? Um, know that, yeah, you might be that person, but you also might be the person that gets pregnant right away. So there's everything in nature, right? Know that you don't know until you try. Um, and it's not because you try only once that you'll never have a baby or, you know? You know what I mean? Anyway, that is my experience. Let me know if you have any other uh, experience or opinion or anything interesting down below, down in the comments. Let me know how did you got pregnant? Uh, was it easy? Was it a long process? Uh, are, you, are you still trying to conceive? Uh, let me know in the comments. And let's try to share the positivity. Okay, that's it for today. I send you a lot of love, a lot of positive vibe. And I see you very soon in another video. Bye!